He will let you know. Oh, and then put his backpack down here. It's got all his clothes in there. Oh, wow. <laughs> Colin and Trey came up for the kids' birthday and stuff in May. And they had a blast. Well, I don't know all they're going to use for that now. Yeah. The man speaks in desert where no one will go here. Oh. <laughs> See, it's doing all this fun stuff. I had to set this up at the house uh, a week ago to make sure it still remembered how. They're putting together a band. For real? Turned it in the charcoal. You had that right down in the, the right in. white heat. That was light hot. That, that melted the aluminum foil. Well, we've got chili and broccoli and cheese and sauce in the butter. Just bring everything I'm out of here. So we're going to do it centrally. Salad. I have salad. I guess we made a whole bag of potatoes. Anybody. <laughs> Thank you. 
Jackson's tired of the tractor. No, he was pulling no. his tractor with it. He's working on it. Clean up there, boy. You know, I'll hold the camera and you can do it. Ah, uh, no, nobody can take my job. <laughs> well, we I'm never uniquely have you qualified. We never have you, and if it is, we can just, you know, stage one. Winners and losers waiting to see what's next.
The winner's game.
got it now. Okay, then not Rick, I don't know what it is. <laughs>
Did you score any points? No. Oh, I can't believe he didn't score a point. They beat us. He didn't score a point. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you get Brittany? Yeah, I got Brittany. <laughs> Look here. We all want to get together. That sounds like my. The winners of the 2009 Hershey Reunion Horseshoe Competition. In there. Pack it up, love. I know they are. Hey, it's beautiful. Okay. 
Okay, the treasurer's report for this year. We brought balance brought forward was eight hundred and sixty dollars and thirty three cents. We spent a hundred dollars in memorials, a hundred and fifty dollars in donation to the caretakers, a hundred dollars on invitations. Our offering last year was two hundred and seven dollars and seventy three cents, and our craft auction brought in hundred and eight dollars, a hundred and eighty dollars, which leaves us with a balance this year of $898.06. And Tara Hershey was first, and Hannah Walker and Barrett Guest were second. You can come up and get your candy bars. Horseshoes, first place was Steve Ames and Tom Garzella. Second place was Mike Hershey and Sean Hershey. And third place was Louis Barber and Wes Grable. Golf. Uh, first place was Rick Boyd, Lana, Grevin Good, Bill Webb, and Mike Webb, who tied with John Boyd, Steve Boyd, Richard Boyd, and Matt Boyd. Third place, again distantly, was Mike Hershey, Cody Timmerman, Ryan Hershey, and Tom Hershey. Club. <laughs> Nor did they know how to use them. But uh, Tom Garzella, he, he just did an outstanding job of taking care of uh, Isaac and Jonathan and uh, showing them around the course. And trust me, they got their money's worth because they were everywhere on that course. <laughs> it's long overdue, but uh, I think maybe we should pause here in our agenda today and recognize Betty and Louie Barber for all their contributions. Louie, you can quit taking pictures here. You get a little break here, okay? <laughs> Jamie Garzella. And the vice presidents will be Sean Hershey and Tara Hershey. agree to do that and I know they'll do a fine job and we'll try to be good mentors for them. Once again, and I propose that we still have it here at Earl Park, same time, same station. I'll entertain a motion for that. Second? Okay. All in favor? Aye. Great. Last order of business that I have, family donation to Earl Park, go to $100 again, and also to Mr. and Mrs. Dasman, $50. I will entertain that motion also. Moved by Jay, second. All in favor? Aye. Motion passed. And there any other business to bring before the Hershey family reunion. All right, at this time I ask Mike to come up and have the closing prayer. The family is carrying on uh, this fantastic tradition. Uh, this year we miss Aunt Jean and Uncle Bill and uh, Uncle Dick greatly. Uh, they weren't able to be here. It was great to see Betty uh, yesterday. So we want to keep them all in our prayers. But I know it was all their desires. I remember years ago, Uncle Bob, his biggest concern was keeping this going. And it's because of all of you, all of us together, that we are still uh, got such a wonderful family. And I am so proud to be a part of this family. And, uh, so with that, with that said, I applaud you for coming. And for me to you. It means a lot. So let us bow our heads and have a word of prayer.
did you say about the theme? The theme is going to be a, uh, an international thing, and each campsite will, will do whatever country. country they want to do. Uh, okay. for, for Friday? Next Friday. What happened? For Friday night? Friday night. Okay. Is there anything else that I forgot? This is Friday, 30 July, at the Earl Park Hershey reunion. This morning, uh, the golfers are off playing golf. Late yesterday, Carol and Chris came in. That's one of Dwight's. Wilbur's set up. Over behind them are other members of our group. Tom's. Place and the Turidis screen house. It's a nice house. I mean, oh, this is still Friday, 30th of July. At 115 Central Time. We have had a few 
additions. Another screen room there. Chug Bob and Di in the RV there behind. Sean's tent trailer. Dwight's daughters and kids. Lapka witches. Tips and Wilbur. Tom and Joanne. Still Friday, July 30th. Where's clean food? I don't see it. I cleaned off the one that's in the pot. The horses? Yeah. Same horses and knives and stuff. Here's a dirty one. Getting ready for the International Fair hey Supper. It's supposed to be in another 10 minutes. It's right there. What about this night? Two nineteen, two nineteen or two seventeen. You're on the second floor too. Maybe you can get a sandwich, Dave. Yeah, we'll probably go swimming sometime. I really like the swimming. Probably. Yeah. I don't know if they furnish them or not. We don't have any. We didn't even get any. Try the tea. What? What's that, Cap? Plates and cups and stuff. I was too busy getting all the food. I'll go down there. Uncle John swam, yeah. He'll go swimming with us yeah. when we get back to the hotel, okay? Yeah. 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 Do you, do you want to go swimming later? Yeah, Chloe and the boys will go with you, too. Yeah. 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 If there's any outsiders in that pool, we'll kick them right out. Give we'll yeah, Chloe. Play to ourselves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Kick them out. Chloe had to be in here. Or we'll be nice and cheery. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Uh -huh. But she would follow Dwight. Yeah. Alan, and I walk in and I see my girlfriends I've worked with forever. Here comes the Australian food. It's supposed to be. We do have flies. American redneck. <laughs> All right. We didn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't much of a stretch for us. That can work by Shush. hydropower. You're not helping. It's no. Nope, shoot. not hot. Ryan, say cheese. I know, but it's a moving one. I took a, I took your still picture with it also. Why don't we see which one doesn't look stupid on the... I feel more like a leprechaun than a... Is we're going to be here. <laughs> You're too soon old and too late schmott. When, when does the dance start? <laughs>
game playing time, talking time. This is 31 July, Saturday, and I'm a little late today because it has been raining. The rain has stopped, but everything is still pretty wet. But uh, we're having a, another family reunion over in the building over there, so these are not some of our people, but all of them in this way are some of our Hershey bunch. Most people are still in shelter like that, having lunch since Earl Park time is 12.20, but Kentland time is 11.20 that my watch is set for. Our 
there's Lena and Rick and Bill Webb. Wood's fairly dry because it was under a tarp. Really? There we go. <laughs> oh, I'm not eating. Are you supposed to eat? <laughs> Last time I was here, every picture he took of me, I was eating, and he made sure of that. But you I got was, it. Yeah. <laughs> you have been captured in high definition. Wow. <laughs> Sure, I'm the husband. This is what was the winners of the first round of Bocce Ball. Actually, the winners of this have finished their plan for second and third place. Yeah. But it took a long time <laughs> to get the first seven points. That's close for now. Still close. Still close. Dad, take it closer. No. And no, we, we all got blue. I know. That's time for the kids' games.
31st of July, Saturday, 8.15 Austin time, 9.15 Earl Park time, sitting around the fire here. Sunday, camp is almost broken down for most people. Spend the night in the hotel or at home. Chuck, Bob, and Diane will be spending, will be leaving right after noon to go home. I don't know when the rest of them are going. They're closing up shop there. 
That's a Tom and Joanne Hershey's. And the Turetis still have to take down their screen. This is Sunday, 1st of August, and it is mostly through lunchtime. And that was a box of 21 pieces of chicken strips. There's one left. Quite a bit of chicken left over there, a little bit left there. And uh, no noodles left. Very little corn left. I see a few meatballs. That is some kind of soup that it's made, and it was good. And that's potatoes, actually, in there. Full corn, delicious tomatoes, really good. And chocolate cake's about half gone, and a few more desserts that haven't been attacked very hard yet, but they will be. And that's a Indiana State Pie Old Fashioned Sugar Cream Pie. Was very good. I had a piece of that. A little bit of chocolate fudge. And there's Diane. Eating as usual. Have you already done it? You bet. On video, high definition. I can just see all those pictures. Me and the court, me and the court, me and the court. I could make up an album. An album of me eating. Of me eating. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we've got a good crowd here today. Yeah, sandwiches. Yeah, they thought so. The salad is actually not famous. There's also uh, no homie ice cream Rick there just checking out what's left. What he wants to dig into next. It looks like Kathy's just getting started. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and there's a business meeting that will happen after a while. There's Tandy Wipes. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm surprised they still have more shit in there. I got to eat first. I'm over seven. You know, these folks got to eat last. <laughs> so we 
And you know what? I just want to tell you that I never feel Okay, moving on to old business. I have a couple of little things here and then uh, open it up to the family. Uh, first of all, don't remind everyone, don't forget to pay your camping fees. Reminder here, it's uh, $15 for um, electric and water. $8 for tents. Primitive, I guess that's called. Also, uh, for the wiener roast on Saturday night, we had tons of hot dogs. I think Sherry and I must have thrown away at least four or five packs. But we ran out of hot dog buns, okay? So don't forget the hot dog buns next year, okay? Uh, any other old business to bring before the family? Anybody have anything to bring up? I think we all all give a real bit of appreciation for our leadership. I Next, a double your pay. <laughs> Next on the agenda would be election of officers, which we already took care of last year. But I'd like to make a few comments here along these lines. Uh, I've already talked to Tammy, and I've already said to her that. I don't think the next officer should go 13 years before they give up the throne, okay? Two, three, four years, whatever you're comfortable with, you know, feel free to do, but after four years, you know, it gets old real quick. And I think we have enough talent in this family that someone else could take Charlie, Charlie's January, December. Uh-oh. January, December. Uh-oh. Yeah, January, December. Give recognition to where I thought it was deserved anyway. So I, I just call this like the president's recognition award, and I guess as my last my last uh, official act here, I'll have to give a couple of these out anyway. Uh, first of all, Dwight, I feel sad for you, <laughs> but if you would come up here, sir. Oh, no. <laughs> you know, I have a young daughter also, okay, and I, so I have to commiserate with you a little bit. And, but anyway, and, and I know they were blondes and stuff, but like, oh, I, I have, I have, I have an award for them that I would like you to deliver personally. Mm -hmm that I uh, acknowledge their uh, efforts in front of the family. And I have uh, an award for Krista and Carmen Morrison. Uh, it's called the Wrong Way Corrigan Award. <laughs> <laughs> On their way to the reunion, uh, they have a couple of blondes, and they're talking, and talking, and talking and talking, and they ended up in Illinois. <laughs> so here's the wrong way, Corrigan, oh, that I, I, I really know that you will do me justice in giving them that award. Okay? And the clue of the year is, why does that sign say, welcome to Indiana? <laughs> And I kind of have a serious award here. And, uh, I'd like to give special recognition to Jordan Wright. Uh, and I'm going to give him the Speedy Gonzalez Award. Because he drove all night to get to the reunion. And uh, I, I just think he just deserves a little special recognition for that. Jordan. <laughs> I'm gonna to have to give her the Snoop, Snoopy the Red Baron award <laughs> to Diane McDaniel. <laughs> she ran into the wing of a B-52. <laughs> she ran in there so hard that she ended up with six, not six stitches, six staples in her head. Oh my God. Come get 
get your award, Lady Di. Oh my God. <laughs> So what happened to the B-52? <laughs> but but there, there is a ton of people in this family, and I, I hope they, are, they serve you as well as they have served me. Because any time I have ever asked anyone to do anything in this family, they have done it. No, no hassle, no, no, man, except for my son. <laughs> um, very, 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 in fact, I can't remember a time that anyone's refused to do anything. So don't hesitate to delegate and don't hesitate to assign and have other people do things because you need it. And I probably, for the first couple of years, did too much myself. And you need to do that, and, and don't feel guilty about doing it. Cause, cause you're the boss. You tell them what to do. Okay? All right. Uh, at this time, I would like to have Mike uh, do the uh, closing prayer, and then we'll sing our famous song. Bow our heads. Father, again, it has been a privilege to do that.